Okay, hello everybody, what's going on? This is Muhammad, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve for this definite integral from zero to infinity of the natural logarithm of x divided by x squared plus two x plus four dx. So how can we solve for this integral? So if you're interested, pause this video, give this problem a try and keep watching this video for a solution. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I will uh, do a substitution. So I will let x equals to two u. And then I will differentiate both sides. dx is gonna be equal to twice du. And since x changes between zero and infinity, that makes u, I'm sorry, u changes between, if we substitute zero, that's gonna be zero and infinity is gonna be, so it's gonna stay zero and infinity. And that makes our integral here, i equals to the, to the integral from zero to infinity of the natural logarithm of twice u, and here is gonna be equal to four u squared. We can take u squared plus uh, two multiplied by two, that's four u plus four, and instead of dx, it's gonna be twice du. So I will put the two here and du here. Okay, and we can take 4 as a common factor in the denominator uh, with the 2 in the numerator, that's going to be half. So it's going to be half the integral from 0 to infinity of len 2u can be written as len 2 plus len u. So len 2 plus len u divided by u squared plus u plus 1 du so now we can split this integral into two integrals so the first integral is going to be half the integral from 0 to infinity of len 2 over u squared plus u plus 1 and basically what we can do we can get len 2 outside okay the integral so that's going to be len 2 divided by 2 over d of du divided by u squared plus u plus 1 and the other integral half the integral from 0 to infinity of what is left and what is left is basically equal to len u divided by u squared plus u plus 1 du and what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the first integral i1, and I'm going to call the second integral i2. So let's start with i1. So i1 is basically equal to len 2 divided by 2. That's the natural logarithm of 2 divided by 2. The integral from 0 to infinity of du divided by u squared plus u plus 1. So what I'm going to do here, I will complete the squares and the squares and the denominator. So that makes this integral len 2 divided by 2, the integral from 0 to infinity, and du here, and that's going to be u, I'm sorry, u squared plus u plus one fourth, so one basically can be written as one fourth plus three fourth, so that makes this u plus uh, one half all squared plus the square root of three divided by two all squared du. Let me let me make this a little bit longer. Yes, so that's our first integral. And this is straightforward. Basically, this is equal to the natural logarithm of 2 divided by 2. And then we need to, uh, um, we need to multiply by, we need to divide by 1 over the square root of 3 divided by 2, which makes it 2 divided by the square root of 3. And the tangent inverse of... Uh, 2 divided by the square root of 3 multiplied by u plus half and we need to evaluate that from 0 to infinity. 
So 2 is going to get cancelled with 2. And we're going to be left out with uh, len ln 2 divided by the square root of 3. Uh, and then if we substitute infinity instead of u, that's going to give us infinity. So uh, that's going to give us tangent inverse of infinity, which is basically pi by 2. Minus, if we substitute 0, that's going to give us 0, 10, that's going to give us, I'm sorry, that's going to give us 1 over the square root of 3, which is basically pi, the tangent inverse of that is equal to pi by 6. So if we calculate that, uh, basically what we can do here, we can multiply this by 3, and this is by 3, so that's going to be 3 pi minus pi, that's 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3. So that makes the answer... Uh, uh, that makes the answer pi len the ln the natural logarithm of 2 divided by 3 the square root of 3 and that is basically the answer to this first integral let me highlight that in yellow so we can now go to the second uh, integral now we're gonna prove that the second integral is equal to 0 so let me show you how i2, which is basically equal, so basically this is the answer to the integral is pi, the natural logarithm of 2 divided by 3, the square root of 3. Now, i2 is going to be equal to 0, and let me show you how. i2 is equal to half the integral from 0 to infinity, and we have basically the natural logarithm of u divided by u squared plus u plus 1 du. What I'm going to do here, I will let u, I will let u equals to 1 over t. And that makes du equals minus 1 divided by t squared dt. Now, let's see how the limits will change. Okay, so if u is equal to 0 and infinity, then t is going to be equal to uh, infinity. And then 1 over infinity is going to be equal to u. So they're going to they're going to uh, invert, actually. So 0 is going to become infinity, and infinity is going to become 0. And our integral, which is i2, is going to become half the integral from infinity to 0, and the natural logarithm of u is going to be the natural logarithm of 1 divided by t, and u squared is going to be 1 over t squared plus 1 over t, plus 1 and du is going to be equal to minus 1 divided by t squared dt so uh, this can be rewritten as the natural logarithm of 1 over t can be written as minus the natural logarithm of t so the minus will invert okay the limits of the integration so that's going to be half and the integration is going to be from 0 to infinity and we're going to be we're going to have here the natural logarithm of t and we have a negative sign outside here with the derivative if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by t squared so that's going to cancel out uh, the 1 over t squared on the right hand side here and the denominator is going to become uh, uh, 1 plus t plus t squared which can be written as t squared plus t plus 1 dt so if we compare this with the integral that we started with, it looks basically exactly the same. So that tells us that this is basically equal to minus half, minus half, uh, I'm sorry, that, that is basically equal to minus i2, okay? That, that is exactly the same with the negative sign. So it's i minus i2. So if we remove that to the other side, that's going to give us twice i2 is equal to 0. And from that, we can conclude that i2 is equal to 0. And then our original integral i, which is basically i1 plus i2, i2 is equal to 0, and i1 is basically pi, the natural logarithm of 2, divided by 3, the square root of 3 plus 0. So that is basically the answer to our integral here. So I'll highlight that with yellow. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, hit like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.